Sprawling across the Rockhampton showgrounds and beyond, a huge congregation, more than 100,000 people, stakeholders in Australia's beef supply chain, big crowds and lots of cattle, more than 5,000 cattle, making Beef Australia's Triennial Expo the largest of its kind in the Southern Hemisphere. A celebration of this iconic yet important Australian beef industry and a celebration of this great region, our host city, Rockhampton, the beef capital. The beef industry is celebrating good times. Many rural areas are coming out of drought. Beef and property prices are soaring. Interest rates are low. Tech and innovation are driving the industry forward. It is a great time for industry uh, to be taking a moment to enjoy the success that's been a little elusive over uh, the longer term. Uh, and to reinvest back into what's important. Mum and dad farmers, corporate cattle giants, chefs, retailers, truckers, entrepreneurs and all others in the beef supply chain coming together and sharing knowledge. <laughs> Plenty of politicians showing support and hearing from the industry. And it's great to see so many people out here supporting Beef Australia 21. How was your steak last night PM? It was pretty good. It was beef cheek last night, but the steak this morning, it wasn't bad. <laughs> it, was, it was a bit early for a steak for me, but I tell you what, if it was like that every morning, I wouldn't complain. And of course, cattle judging. Beef 21 being the most prestigious competition for these marvellous animals. What's it take to get him prepped up to look like he does now and, and show really well? Yeah, it takes months and months of planning, blood, sweat and tears. Uh, the uh, the agric agricultural industry has been through a few uh, rough years, um, so... Uh, we're actually quite pleased to uh, have an outing such as uh, Beef 21 to uh, get out and meet a few people and um, come and tell stories and, and, and compare animals. He looks a little bit restless. Has he had a big week? He's had a huge week. He, yeah, he's looking forward to getting out and stretching his legs. But um, but uh, they really do enjoy coming to the show as much as we do and, and having a bit of a sticky beak. Well, this is the main theatre for Beef 21, the arena for judging stud cattle here. The finest beasts that you'll ever see are on display and right now they're judging the champion of champions. Winning the Supreme Group Championship were the Brahmins, siblings from Nobbs Cattle Company at Daringa in the local Capricorn region. It's good publicity for us as a, you know, this is our business in selling seed stock to to um, commercial breeders across Australia so um, this, this plays a big role in, in advertising our product. Top female, Moongool Radical, a Charolais from Yulba. And the supreme champion bull for Beef 21 was this guy, Royala Ventura, a short horn from the Royala stud in central New South Wales. Where this bull stands out, he's just so beautifully structured. You, you can see the way he stands. He's got that kind of arrogant look that says, look at me, I'm better than you. And he, 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 can, he just makes everyone look at him. Also in the main arena, a platform for young cattle judges to hone their skills, already sounding like career experts when asked what they're looking for in a nice beast. Muscular, you know, they have to look like a bull. Um, smoothness over the top line, good strength of the top line, smooth shoulder, good bone. Yeah, good smoothness over the tail, tail set length of tail, yeah. At Beef 21 there was the designated Ken Coombe Tech Yards, a centre for showcasing the industry's booming digital and mechanical innovation. One of the things that really does excite me though is the amount of attention that is now going into the technology side of this business and a, and a, and a realisation of the data analytics and, uh, and the various tools that are available. And entertainment all week long, on the stage, at the bar, even in the boxing ring. <laughs> Have you ever been in the ring after a few beers? Never. Never ever. So you wouldn't recommend that I'm guessing? No, not at all. I can see some of them have had a few, so I don't know how they're going to go. The Expo celebrates the success of the beef industry, but it's also a conference to discuss the challenges which lay ahead. We know that this too will pass. There will be headwinds. And uh, I think the things we're probably thinking about is overseas markets. There's a lot of competition from uh, competitors. They don't do as good a job as us, but they are trying to muscle in while our prices are high. Organisers estimated more than $100 million would be generated for the Capricorn region from this year's expo. Plans for beef 2024 are already underway. Follow the Country Caller online. Harry Clark, founder and editor.